Joel Rakin knows what it means for every child to have a toy on Christmas. So when he heard of the alleged theft at the Salvation Army, he knew he wanted to give more than a thousand toys. I figured this is the best time or we're donating more toys this year than we ever have before. One of many that have stepped up. Salvation Army officials didn't expect such an outpouring of generosity. We're just grateful that during this crisis, people are obviously supporting us. Support that has to come with checks and balances. With audits and a promise to increase security measures, the charity is opening up to its donors. 86 cents of every dollar donated goes directly to program, and we're very proud of that. There are 86,000 charities in Canada. Charity Intelligence is working to keep them honest by going over all the numbers. This charity, almost half of what they spent, it's uh, spent on fundraising. By figuring out how much of every donor dollar goes to the cause, fundraising and administrative fees. And sometimes the numbers don't add up. We do believe that charities are becoming more transparent and they are showing, they are showing graphs on their website. We would love to check uh, uh, those graphs against their financial statements because, again, they, don't, they, they often don't, uh, don't match up. They rank Salvation Army among the highest charities with some of the lowest salaries in the industry. 10,000 people across the country work for the Sally Ann, paid an average of $36,000 a year. 34 of them earn a six-figure salary that would land them on the sunshine list much like the executive director who was fired after the $2 million theft of toys was discovered. I don't think the salaries of the individuals involved are, are really relevant to the issue of fraud. Kathy Barr from Imagine Canada, an umbrella organization for charities, says salaries can be a concern, but an argument can also be made for paying someone to do the job properly. This is actually a case where, that demonstrates the need for charities to have some overhead uh, to ensure that this sort of thing doesn't happen. I've called the Salvation Army. They have assured me that all the toys will make, find their way to a needy home. Lama Nicola, Global News.